Chris Thoreau here from Seedleaf, and I'm excited to introduce you to our new experiment series. We are going to do a bunch of experiments to take a look at different techniques and different methods around growing and harvesting microgreens. I think experiments are really important for growers, and so I'm hoping not only will this experiment give you some insights, but also give you some inspiration to do your own experiments and your own trials. For our first experiment series, we're going to look at different methods of cutting microgreens, and we're going to compare two popular methods, cutting with a knife and cutting with scissors. Now there are some machine options as well, which I think are great, but we're going to start simple uh, thinking about the smaller and mid scale growers. So with the knives, I'm going to look at two different knives, my really, really sharp kitchen knife that I'm going to sharpen the shit out of before I do the trial. So the blade is like a laser. And then I've got the uh, back of the cutlery drawer knife, uh, which I will hone before cutting. But basically, it's like the knife you maybe take on a camping trip. I've got two different types of scissors there. We've got a nice pair of kitchen scissors, but a little bit of serration on the blade. And then just another pair of uh, scissors with a straight blade. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at our two crops here, which are sunflower and pea. We're going to cut them in sections of four, and then we're going to take some really good close-up pictures of the ends of those uh, cuts so you can get a sense of how the different uh, methods uh, affect the end of the, uh, the crop. Uh, then we're going to put them into individual bags for storage, and then we're going to see if these methods are affecting storage life. Along the way, we'll explore different things to consider with cutting your microgreens. So hopefully that will provide you with some insights into what might work best for your system and give you some inspiration for your own uh, experiments. So we're excited to be doing this. Keep an eye out uh, for the next uh, part of the series when we'll uncover our crops and just kind of take a look at them as they move along. So we'll talk to you soon.